which one wins. Well, you just look at me. You know, it's just basically looking. Wow. Um, you firmly believe that it's in God's hands. Do the best you can. You can live with it. So he said, I took my head off and he said, help us out, Lord. And he said, I'll be dang good. I'll be so and so if they didn't bumble on the next play. <laughs> Having coached at uh, one of the local high schools here, uh, those guys a lot of times would come into school in the mornings in their camo. They just come in from a duck hunt, we're rolling in. Sometimes we're late to class because they've been hunting. Um, so it's a huge part of the culture. Um, I think when we, we are fellowship Christian athletes, but there's an outdoor side of it too. Um, I think anytime you can tie all your passions um, in with Jesus. I think that's a huge thing. So if you can take the outdoors and put Jesus in it, I think it's, um, it's beneficial for reaching a lot of people um, with the, in that ministry. As Meadowood, um, our mission statement is to honor God while providing these services and, and raising um, the opportunity to send, to get people in front of Christ. Um, and uh, our owner, Frank Harrison, is very passionate about seeing the next generation come to Christ um, but also to see them grow in that. And Meadowood has been a big part of uh, accomplishing that task, uh, not only for these type of events, but just about everything that we do day in and day out uh, is to see that next generation um, through the joy of hunting and shooting, uh, know more about who Christ is and that great relationship with Him. I had the opportunity when I was at Eau Claire High School to send, to take some of my players to Black Mountain. I saw what a change it brought over their lives. And, and I've been going to Black Mountain or some FCA camp just about every year since then. And it has been, I, I can't tell you the great feeling it gives anyone who cares about young people to see on Friday nights at Black Mountain where they ask, you know, which, which people want to accept Jesus Christ as their Savior and to watch five or six hundred at a time. I mean, there isn't a church in America that can do that. And these guys, you know, that many of them don't have parents sometimes. They live in, in places where, you know, it, it's not the best, nicest place in the world. And some of them never have been to church. But they learn that if you accept Jesus Christ as you say, you want to be in church. And so for me to have a little role and a little part that I can play into doing what I do uh, from a fundraising perspective, from just passing the word on about who FCA is, what they stand for, is quite a privilege. So I love the FCA. Uh, I love what they're doing in the school systems. I love the new idea of FCA Outdoors. It's about spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ through coaches, uh, through huddles. They've got a process that works. And so it's a great organization to plug in and support because they are promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ. As a coach, obviously, I, I see the impact of, of Jesus Christ in a lot of people's lives. Um, and it's powerful. And the FCA continues to do a phenomenal, phenomenal job. You know, job, not so much just on the collegiate level, but high school level, junior high level. Um, and like Hank said, it, it, it's really not about athletes. It really doesn't have to be athletes. Um, you know, anybody can give to the FCA, anybody can be a part of the FCA, and it's our only avenue to get into the public schools. So it's a perfect, perfect situation for somebody who believes in the Lord to really get involved. It's amazing. I, I haven't found anywhere that's a greater that does a better job of really pouring into them so they can discover who they were meant to be and touch the future and the ripple effect that happens from that. Um, and this type of event, it's the reason I drove six and a half hours to be here, was to say, hey, you guys are incredible. Keep this simple. It's not complicated. And how do I get better? How do I get better? And when I get to pour that into others, I do. I feel like I'm touching the future and getting to encourage people at the same time. So getting to do both at one event is it's, it's Christmas. Perfect. Thank you so much. Oh man, yeah.